This shot was filmed with the Sony ZV-E1. Looks pretty good, right? And this shot was filmed with the Xperia 1 Mark V. Again, here's a ZV-E1, nice and pretty. And this was shot with the Xperia 1 Mark V. What? One more time, this was filmed with the Sony ZV-E1. Nice bokeh. I don't know if the Xperia 1 can do that. <gasps> What? This was shot with the Xperia 1 Mark V? What the bokeh? Now, I know what you're gonna say. Vlogging on a phone is not gonna look as good as vlogging with a full frame camera, right? Well, yeah, I guess that is kind of true, but sometimes, sometimes when filmed correctly and if the conditions are right, footage shot with a phone like the Xperia 1 Mark V can look just as good as my other Sony full frame cameras. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the Xperia 1 Mark V is a great phone to vlog with. It's lightweight, films in 4K, has a Cinetone, but does it beat an actual full-frame Sony camera? All right, so here I am filming with the Sony a7R5, an actual full-frame Sony camera. And as much as I really love this camera, it's just too heavy. All right, here's what I'm talking about. Here is the Sony a7R5. I got the Sony ECM B10 mic. There is a 16 to 35G master lens. And here is the Xperia 1 Mark V. Like, look at these two, like completely different in terms of like overall size and weight. And also the a7R5 and the 16 and 35G master lens and this mic, like that's like a, like what is that? Like that's nearly a $6,000 setup where this is just under 1500. All right, so now I'm gonna do like a simple push and shot with both cameras of my bike. All right, pretty simple there. Let's whip out the Xperia 1 Mark V. What's really cool about the Xperia 1 Mark V is that it has S Cinetone for mobile. S-Cinetone colors, same color science borrowed from the Sony Venice camera, the a7R5, A7S3, S-Cinetone in a phone. And so we're gonna film S-Cinetone with both cameras and uh, do a little comparison, shall we? All right, let's just uh, put the cameras as close together as possible, probably in the same angle. Uh, okay, so we are uh, filming with both the a7R5 and the Xperia 1 Mark V and S-Cinetone for both cameras. Uh, I'm gonna say that the a7R5 is gonna look better overall, but we'll see how close how footage shot with Xperia 1 Mark V uh, is to the a7R5. Lots of numbers and letters, man. Now with the Xperia 1 Mark V, you obviously can't plug in an external mic on the phone, but there is a microphone right near the cameras. And it's a pretty cool mic that has voice priority in it. Basically, it recognizes the subject's voice and isolates it from the background. And so we're gonna do a little comparison uh, between the Xperia 1 Mark V and, uh, and the microphone on the A7R Mark V and see which one is better. I mean, it's gonna be this, but let's just compare. All right, now we're comparing the audio between the uh, Sony ECM B10 digital mic on the A7R5 and the mic, the voice priority mic on the Xperia 1 Mark V. Uh, I'm very curious to, to hear what it sounds like. Oh, and for reference, uh, the microphone that you're hearing right now is uh, is a Rode Love Go that's hooked up to the DJI mic. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted uh, some sort of standard to compare the uh, the audio with. So uh, So yeah, there you go. So since I'm comparing the Xperia 1 Mark V with my other Sony cameras, I'm actually gonna compare it with the Sony FX3 using Cine EI. We're outside right now, so shooting in Cine EI will be a lot better to retain the details and the highlights up over here. And I know the FX3 is gonna blow the Xperia 1 and Mark V out the waters, but I just, I just wanted to compare. All right, so now I'm vlogging with the FX3 using Cine EI. Uh, footage looks good uh, from the camera. And I guess that's the advantage of using an actual full frame Sony camera to vlog with. Like you can actually see the screen where with the Xperia 1 Mark V, you kind of have to guess. <laughs> but it's so much heavier vlogging with the FX3. Like I don't, I don't like it. And also, mind you, with the FX3 and my Sony B10 digital mic and what is it, my 16 35 G master lens, like that is a, that's a $6,000 setup. That's really expensive. And a lot of people probably won't get a $6,000 camera setup to vlog. Like most likely they'll just want to use their phones, you know? But yeah, just out of curiosity, I just wanted to compare the Xperia 1 Mark V with the FX3. Right, I'm just going to crank up the shutter speed and lower uh, my aperture. I want to get that nice blur in the background. Uh, but also, yeah, the, the difference between using full frame Sony cameras with actual lenses versus a phone is that you're able to use some pretty quality lenses. And if your lenses can go down to like f2.8 or f1.4, you're going to have that nice blur in the background. But honestly, when it comes to vlogs, 
I don't know, does that kind of matter anymore? I, I honestly don't know, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, vlogging with a camera set up like the Sony FX3 and the 16 to 35G master lens and the Sony B10 digital mic is very heavy and also very expensive. And oftentimes I don't really wanna bring a heavy camera setup to vlog. Like vlogs are meant to just capture the moment and it's a lot easier capturing the moment with a light camera setup like a phone. Also, this is being shot with the Xperia 1 Mark V right now. And this is shot with the Sony FX3. I'm gonna put the, the two together just so we can compare. Uh, here we go. Hi, Sydney here. I'm actually gonna put the clips side by side so that you can see a comparison. And so yeah, let me know in the comments below which footage you think looks better. Look at this guy over here, like judging me. Let's zoom in on you, buddy. Look at that, I'm using the zoom lens on the Xperia 1 Mark V. Don't judge me, I'm working. Ah, uh, you're probably a nice guy. All right, I'll leave you alone. Now, what's really cool having a phone like the Xperia 1 Mark V with you at all times is that you now have a secondary camera to film B-roll. So right now I'm filming B-roll of the FX3 and the Sony B10 digital mic. And normally I have to bring my other Sony cameras to film B-rolls of my other Sony cameras. But the fact that I have the Xperia with me at all times means that I now have a secondary camera to film any type of B-roll shot, which is pretty sick. Also, look at that blur in the background. Like that's not too shabby, right? Yeah, it's pretty decent. Also, the controls in the Xperia 1 Mark V are really cool. I mean, the fact that I can touch the track is pretty awesome. I can easily cancel. I can change my auto exposure. And usually when I film an acinetone with the Xperia 1 Mark V, I set the auto exposure to negative 0.25 just because I don't want to blow out the highlights. I can change white balance. I can change focal lengths if I want to. Like right now, I'm using the 16 millimeter wide lens. I can swap over to the 24 millimeter lens, zoom in on my shot even more. I can use a zoom lens at 85 millimeters and then use the, uh, the zoom rocker or the zoom slider on the phone and zoom in all the way. Again, I don't know if you can really see it. Ooh, person. Zoom out, switch over to the 16 millimeter wide lens. And then the menu, you have your other options over here. You could change frame rates. Like right now I'm filming in 24 frames per second, but I can film in 120 frames per second in 4K. That's pretty crazy. I can also turn off stabilization, turn on stabilization. I could change the picture profile from Acinetone to the normal SDR BT709. We're gonna keep it to Acinetone because that's cool. You can change a whole bunch of things with this phone. And there's this little button on the top right, if you hold it horizontally, that will allow recording on the phone. So you don't have to press the record button on the screen, you can actually press the record button on the top. Nice. So yeah, so that's a pretty cool usable features with the Xperia 1 Mark V. Now, pros and cons when vlogging with a phone, uh, you can't really see yourself unless you're using uh, the front facing camera, but the better quality cameras are always gonna be on the rear, especially with the 24 millimeter lens. Like that's using the new Exmor T sensor and anything shot with those two is gonna look so, so good. I mean, the 16 millimeter wide lens is pretty good and the zoom lens is really good as well, but not as good as the 24 millimeter lens. The only thing that I'm not a big fan of is the voice priority rear mic. Like I know the quality of the mic is not gonna be good because you know, it's a phone, but it's not gonna match the audio quality captured from the Sony B10 mic or the lav mic that I'm using right now, but in a pinch, the audio is definitely usable. Now, what do I really think? Like, would I really vlog with a phone versus using my other Sony cameras? Well, most likely I will be using my higher end Sony cameras, but when I don't have my cameras available and all I have is my phone, I know that I'll be able to capture some footage that I can mix with my other Sony cameras when I shoot with the Xperia 1 Mark V. Like it's, it's actually pretty dang good for a phone. And yeah, my daily driver is always gonna be my iPhone. It's just, you know, I'm just locked into this iCloud, iMessage ecosystem. But the video quality on iPhones, I don't really like. It just, it looks like phone footage. Where with the Xperia 1 Mark V is probably the first phone that I've ever used that I can truly say mixes well with my other Sony cameras. And so yeah, I will be bringing the Xperia 1 Mark V everywhere I go.